Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to work on my uh, napkin journal. As you know, I'm using a traveler's notebook, a standard size uh, for the cover. And I am uh, making the inserts myself from mixed media paper. Easily cutting them in the right size and then uh, stapling them. Very basic. And I have uh, a video showing how I did it. So I'm going to put the link down below and up on the cards for you to see if you want. I will also put uh, the playlist of my napkin journals because it seems you are enjoying it so much which makes it, uh, which makes me so happy. So I will put the playlist down below as well. If you want to see all my napkin journals, uh, go to that link and uh, it will open all the journals one by one. So today's uh, napkin is a beautiful peacock. I'm just trying to remove the backing, uh, first one and then there's another backing. And then uh, I will uh, stick it on my page and uh, start uh, trying to see how I can turn this into an art journal. And before I forget, uh, if you like my videos, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. There's a little button. Uh, on the right bottom corner of my video that you can easily subscribe so you will be notified when I uh, publish a new video. Also it will encourage me to do even more knowing that you enjoy my videos. So I uh, uh, cut all around the edges uh, of my napkin uh, because I don't want hard edges. Uh, it will blend easier into the page uh, if I tear them off rather than cut them with scissors. I will cut the excess and then start thinking about uh, painting the rest of the page. I'm going to take uh, some distress uh, paints. Uh, this is dried marigold, uh, tattered rose, crushed olive and uh, uh, antique linen. Uh, I always start with the lightest and go to the darker. So I will start with antique linen. I will quickly understand it's too light uh, for this napkin. So I will switch to dried marigold and you will see the colors I'm using uh, on the screen while I'm using them to make it easier for you. Uh, some of you asked me if you can use other paints. You can use any acrylic paints uh, to do what I am doing. Uh, Deco Art Americana. Um, I know it's uh, very available and cheap in the US. So I love them as well. Uh, go for it. They have a lot of colors. Uh, any uh, acrylic paint will do. Uh, I just happen to have uh, most colors uh, from this dress uh, from their mixed media paints. That's why I reach for them. Uh, but uh, you know I could use any other paint that I have as well. So acrylic paint uh, dries uh, permanent. It doesn't move with uh, water or anything else afterwards. And uh, if you want to learn more about acrylic paints, I've done a video for beginners uh, called Acrylic 101. Uh, I will also link it up on the cards here now. And uh, I will uh, link it uh, down below that video if you want to learn more about other brands or how acrylics work. Uh, as you saw, I used my uh, marigold, uh, dried marigold first and then um, I'm switching to a pinkish, very pale pink color now, tattered rose. And I am uh, slowly building different colors, some interest at the background, uh, not making it uh, one color. Also, my peacock has several colors inside, so I have many possibilities to blend this napkin into this page. And... Uh, Around the napkin, if you use a little bit thicker layer, uh, it helps to blend as well. Um, and uh, I will go back and forth uh, between many colors uh, to blend this beautiful peacock into this page. I am happy with the direction, but I think I need a, a little bit darker color. So I'm going for crushed olive and see how it looks. Um, don't be scared of adding more and more colors and trying uh, different things uh, because uh, in the end there's always gesso. So if you don't like something, uh, you will be able to cover it. Uh, also acrylic paints cover each other as well. So if you don't like this one, uh, you can put a little bit gesso or even without gesso, you can uh, put another color on top. 
after it dries so after that I decided to go even darker uh, which is pine needles and uh, I'm going to see how it looks uh, applying it uh, starting from the tail of the peacock uh, and uh, maybe going some places else as well so the brush doesn't work for me in a moment I will switch uh, to my hands uh, because uh, it's uh, it gives again more control to me uh, and somehow I can apply a darker uh, shade with my hand uh, probably not diluting it with the brush uh, and uh, I really enjoy playing with it I always say it's very meditative to me uh, I had a really good time playing with many colors for this page now I'm going back uh, switching colors again this is dried marigold so I'm just finessing uh, according to how I want my page to look uh, and uh, you know some variety at the background is always good I think now the napkin is integrated uh, so I'm happy with it uh, it's just uh, some background details and a happy coincidence uh, there I lifted the color and then I realized um, why don't I uh, lift the color from the green side and carry it to the other sides which will make the page much more cohesive and interesting and as you see the paint, uh, the paint didn't dry yet so I could lift it with my uh, dry uh, paper towel and uh, create some interesting background rather than a flat one so now uh, I'm going to move on to the next uh, step here is my Martha Stewart flower uh, punch that I love uh, since I have flowers on the tail of my peacock I'm going to have a lot of flowers with different colors continuing that tail so uh, I brought a lot of uh, distress inks on my table I am just uh, smooshing it uh, on a piece of cardstock uh, easily uh, I don't want to make this complicated uh, and then I'm using my punch to make a lot of flowers I need a lot of them so uh, I'm punching uh, the blue one and then I will do some uh, orange one uh, and uh, I decided there are other ways as well so I'm just uh, smooshing some on my uh, uh, glass mat I have a glass mat on my table and uh, I'm spraying some water then I'm smooshing the cardstock uh, to have different colors of uh, cardstocks for me uh, to punch my flowers afterwards you could use any of the two methods to make the easiest uh, less time cons uh, consuming way uh, to create these colorful papers out of distress inks and now uh, they are dry so I'm punching my flowers I find these punches very versatile I don't need to take out my uh, uh, die cutting machine every time to have little flowers uh, I also have uh, hearts uh, and butterflies and I use them again and again so for me they are very good investments uh, if you are uh, looking for something easy uh, I would definitely recommend so I started to uh, stick my flowers uh, as you see it's, it's a long process so I don't want to bore you but what I did is I brightened up some of the uh, flowers as well uh, adding more distress ink and I stick them all as you see on the page for my sentiment I'm using a Tim Holtz uh, sticker set called clipping uh, stickers uh, and uh, it says she dreamed beautiful dreams uh, I thought it uh, goes with the page and I'm going to do of course some splashes I chose the darkest uh, pine needles color uh, that I used on the page uh, especially to bring uh, together everything uh, because there are dark greens so it will look good on the lighter areas looks much better now and uh, I'm going to do a little uh, border with my dark green gelato as well uh, just to make sure uh, the eye uh, focuses inside uh, rather than gets lost uh, a frame helps the eye to uh, focus more in the center uh, so I like having uh, borders and frames on my pages it gives a nice definition and brings the page together 
Uh, I'm not uh, doing too much anyway, uh, just going around the edges and smudging a little bit inside. And now uh, coming to the detail, uh, I'm going to use my crystal drops from uh, Nuvo. Uh, I'm using one English uh, mustard, uh, autumn red, an emerald green I think. And uh, I will uh, use these uh, drops for the center of the flowers. I'm going to switch from one to the other to make a contrast between the flower and the crystal drop to make them more visible. So you will see, uh, I will use some of them red, some of them green and some of them yellow. This makes the page uh, even more playful uh, as well and gives a little bit dimension and something interesting to look at. After this I think I will call it done. Uh, another napkin page that I love, I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, started telling me that you will also start your uh, own napkin journals which is very good news so um, go grab a napkin, uh, open a page and try and play with the paints don't forget to hit the like button or uh, leave me a comment share this video with your friends if you like this video you will see the pictures at the end of the video thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time